Rivals no more. Well, absolutely not. Even though David Cook won the American Idol title tonight, uh, we were just talking about it. And David Archuleta does not have to be under contract, so he's got a little more freedom. That is an upside, because mm -hmm. from here on out, at least for the next year, David Cook is under contract with American Idol. Right, and Clyde he, Davis, I believe. Right, and he gets all of the perks that go along with that, but he does not have nearly as much freedom as all the other contestants. And we heard from you tonight. We had a poll on our website. Yeah, we did have a poll. In fact, uh, we asked you, did America choose the right American Idol? Here's a surprise. Yeah, yeah, here's a big surprise. Only 25% of you said yes. 75% of you said no. And uh, That's a shock. I asked you if you would blog, and I think Bob did as well, on what you thought of the show and the results. Well, Ash Elliott says, regardless of the outcome, David A. will always be the winner in Utah. And then she said, I love Ed. We later found out that um, yeah, yeah, she's, Ed, she's married to Ed right. on the floor. <laughs> but here's, come, go ahead. Yeah, uh, here's, here's one other. Uh, this is from Rockon, spelled R-A-C-H-A-N-N. -N. I truly think that Simon is the kiss of death. <laughs> I think that a lot of people felt bad for David Cook, so they voted for him. Or people wanted to spite Simon and not vote for he, who he thought should win. The only thing that makes me feel better is that I know David Archuleta will be a success. He is incredible and definitely should have won. All right, let's go back to Max Roth, who is standing by live in Los Angeles. Max. You know, you guys have made some great points. That point about uh, that, that he's not under, he's not going to be under contract, right. that really does give him a lot of freedom. And you know that a lot of people are going to want to talk with him. And so he's going to have some choices to make, and hopefully he's got some good support in, in making those. It sounds like he does. By the way, while he was walking away from here, and right now he's signing up a whole bunch of autographs, there are a whole bunch of fans still here waiting for him. He's a big star. But... While he was walking away, uh, you guys were talking with Erica about that car that he won. Right. Yeah. You know, the green kind of eco car. Well, uh, well, I was wondering if he had his driver's license. You know, all this going on. He's 17 years old. And so I asked him, and he just, it was the perfect, like, teenager reaction. It's like, yeah, I've had it for over a year. You know, so it was, Duh. Uh, <laughs> so it was, a, it was actually a really fun reaction and showed, hey, you know, he's... He's okay. He's, he's having some fun tonight and, and uh, just being himself. I wonder, right, uh, anyway. Go ahead. I, I'm sorry. I just oh, wonder, No, I was just going to say, I wonder if he's going to need his parents' permission to take the car. That's the only thing. Yeah, it's all his. Uh, and it's it was a uh, Ford. You know what? I, I think if they say that he has to do that, uh -huh. he should just pull out that videotape and say, uh -huh. Ryan uh -huh. gave it to me. Well, look at I got the keys. Speaking of, speaking of Ryan, by the way, we have heard from him after the show and Paul Abdul. So let's listen. There was so much genuine, tangible emotion at the end of the show. Um, and, you know, David, he completely broke down when he found out that he was the winner. He was, I think, surprised. I was, I was happy with the outcome. I think that uh, it made for a fantastic season. I think that the road to that moment was incredible. I think the two of them are, are so different. They come from such different backgrounds and had such different paths to making it to that moment together. And uh, I'm proud of what America's decided. You don't realize, Terry, I do get to say to Simon, I told you so, Simon. I told you so. And I told you so, Simon. And mm, I told you so, Simon. <laughs> I told you so. In case you didn't hear it one last time, I told you so, Simon. <laughs> okay, you guys. You know, you know it was amazing being, being in there tonight, too. And, and you guys saw it on TV. And sometimes things feel or sound differently in both places. So I wonder if you agree. But, uh, my gosh, all these different performances. Usually, I think the medleys are so cheesy, you know. I oh, mean, yeah. often. But, uh, yeah. but uh, they were those duets they did tonight were pretty darn good. Um, <laughs> and a little racy, Max. People. They were uh, yeah, singing Donna yeah, Summer. Well, That's a little racy in the uh, 80s. Oh, Hot yeah. stuff. Donna, oh, hmm? my gosh. Donna, Donna Summer. Whew, she was good. And uh, Saisha, by the way, so charming. And, uh, and she, she getting, really. Getting to that sing with Seal, too. Was, that was really. So, well, we, it was, a, it was a cornucopia yeah. of big, big names tonight. <laughs> a, 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 I love a when you say cornucopia. cornucopia. Yeah, you know, <laughs> Thank and, you. And, and Bob, you know, are, Bob, are you still sad that it was, uh, was <laughs> Seal instead of Flipper? Well, yeah, I was holding out hope that perhaps oh, my yeah. the king of the sea would I, come and sing for us. But, uh. <laughs> okay, we need to yeah, eat okay. some of our own words here because uh, our assistant news director handed us 
this just, just in to us. Uh, that wow. as if chosen as a finalist, contestants must sign additional contracts with producer Simon Fuller's oh. 19 recordings company. So, right, but by the same token, it also says that they have an option to sign the winner and others, but the option is not always picked up. So, but I can't yeah. imagine they wouldn't pick oh. up uh, David Archuleta. So. so there you go. Kind of dumb if they didn't, wouldn't they? Right. Yeah. yeah. So Way not as yeah. free as a bird as, as we, thought. we thought. Not as free as. Okay. <laughs> well, too bad. We won't have to. We won't be able to start our production company and make Just our millions yet. then. <laughs> All right. Hey Max, thanks <laughs> okay, so much. We'll get back hey, to we're, you. We're gonna. Yeah. Okay. See you go later. Go ahead. Go ahead. What were you gonna say? Oh, I just, I, I was just going to say, we're going to listen to David Archuleta. We we talked to him. We're going to hear uh, some words from him again, just coming out. Oh, good. All right. Very okay. Good. We'll see you yeah. in a bit. On the red carpet outside the Nokia Theater, idols from past seasons weighed in on David and David. And here's what they had to say. Marchulet has been so consistent, and uh, he really delivered last night. But it would have been nice to see Cook, you know, win a rocker, a great rocker, one of the best people we've ever had on the show. Actually win the show, that would be interesting. David Archuleta is my boy. Uh, me and him go back, way yeah, back, so, good. you know, I definitely wish... Wish him the best, and I know he's going to take it. He's young, and he's showing he can pull it off for you know for his age. And I mean, even if he wasn't 16, he's got an amazing talent. I love David Cook just because he's just such an artist. Like he can take a song and just make it his own. David Cook's going to sell probably twice as many records as Archuleta, right. you know. But uh, it's Archuleta's show, man. His fan base pummeled the system with votes last night. Oh my gosh, David Archuleta! I mean, especially like last night, he let us have it. David being so young, I mean, that's so impressive. I think he did a great job. He's got a beautiful voice, and he's definitely got a, a solid career ahead of him in the music industry.